Hello everyone and welcome to the Oprah Winfrey Show. Today we are going to meet two young men who have experienced extreme oppression. One from the poverty of St. Petersburg, the other from the slums of India. You won't believe what, they, what they've been through. Please, welcome Baka and Rodion Romanovich Raskolnikov. that is coming out this March, based on your experiences. Tell me, what inspired you to tell your story? Well, Oprah, it all stemmed from my experience as a sweeper. One day, I accidentally touched a man of a higher caste. He immediately turned on me and cursed me. A great crowd gathered around me, shouting at me with such hatred. I could tell that, that I was sorry, that I should have announced my presence to avoid selling anyone, but I could not speak. Let me read you a passage from my novel. For them, I am a sweeper, sweeper, untouchable, untouchable, like a ray of light shooting through the darkness, the recognition of my position, the significance of my lot dawned upon me, the contempt of those who came to the latrines daily and complained that there weren't any latrines clean, the sneers of the people in the outcast colony, the abuse of the crowd which had gathered around me this morning. It was all explicable now. Then, aware of my position, I began to shout aloud the warning word with which I used to announce my approach. Sweeper coming, the undertone, untouchable, untouchable, was in my heart. Wow. That is so moving. I know exactly how you feel. Now, Raskolnikov, how did you feel when you were in the streets of St. Petersburg and people would look at you as if you were lesser than they were? I suffered too. How do they know they are superior? They're, they are as poor as I am, and I was a student at the university, which is something quite admirable. And I have more potential than they do, I have more to give, I have done more than they could ever dream of doing. Then, Oprah, I realized that if I were to wait until everyone else had grown cleverer, I'd have to wait a very long time. Then, I also realized that that was never going to happen. That people aren't going to change. And that no one can make them indifferent from what they are. And it's not worth it to try. But how did you know that this was all pointless? I had no way to know this. Come to think of it, when I was lying there in the darkness, imagining all those things, was the devil stirring me? A, I know all of it. All of it. I'd spent so many days agonizing over the question of whether I was a Napoleon or not. Napoleon? Why did you think you were Napoleon? Anyway, no matter what we do, we are forever stuck in the class we were born into. No matter what we say, who we know, how we think, nothing changes. And yet the great Mahatma Gandhi had said he wishes he reincarnated as an untouchable. To be the lowest in society is an honor to him. Baka, you are truly an inspiration. All this talk about being who you strive to be reminds me of a time- I didn't kill an order to help my mother, that's rush! I, I didn't kill in order to be able to come and benefactor of mankind. That's for us too. I simply killed. I killed for my own sake. I must go. Fare thee well. Do not search for me. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, well, let's go to commercial. And now, a word from our sponsors.